Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to give you an introduction on how to import your Crazy Talk 6 heads into Crazy Talk Animator. I'll start off in Crazy Talk 6 here where I have my fitted head ready for export. What I want to do is save this head file by clicking the add button on the bottom right and saving it to the folder I choose. I'll save him as Super Blonde. What I need to do now is switch over to Crazy Talk Animator. After I've done that, I can simply open up the folder with my head file in it and click and drag it onto my animator stage. You'll see that the image will import, complete with the shoulders, which I actually don't want in this case. So what I'm going to do is launch the head in my character composer, and then select the face fitting tool on the left toolbar. Once that loads, you can see that the facial fitting data has been saved from Crazy Talk 6, so I don't have to do the fitting. I do want to mask out the shoulders, however, so I'm going to select the masking tool and begin to do that. In the neck area, I want to zoom in a little closer so I can get some more detailed masking done. If you mask a little bit too much, you can always use the erase tool to unmask any particular area. Once you've finished masking, press the OK button to return to the main face fitting window, then press OK to return to the composer. What you can do now is go to the custom tab in your head section and use the same add command like you did in Crazy Talk 6 to save your new masked out head. I'll return to the stage mode and delete the head I have on screen. Now I'm going to load up a couple of bodies without heads here in Animator from our Common Folks content pack and show how easy it is to attach your Crazy Talk 6 head to a body in Animator. I'll just find my head in the custom heads folder and click and drag it over my body. The end result, our prisoner here finally has a head. We'll put the same head on the maid body for good measure. Once I've imported in the heads, I can go into the character composer and make other modifications like I'm doing here, by changing the color of the face. I just want to make it match the color of the arms a little closer, so the head looks like a more natural fit. Once I've finished that, I'll return back to the stage mode and you can notice a slight difference in skin tone between the two characters. Now, I'll just apply a chicken dance animation to our prisoner here, and let's let our maid do an Egyptian walk. Now you know how easy it is to get your Crazy Talk 6 body onto a character and animate it in Crazy Talk Animator.